I'm David Crossett, founder of RV Masters, and this video that you're about to watch comes from the RV Masters Buyer's Track, which is a video series dedicated to just helping people find the right RV and then save as much money as they can when they buy it. I hope you enjoy it. I'm David Crossett, founder of RV Masters, and in this video, we're gonna cover some really important information. Why it's so easy to lose at the RV buying game. There's a lot of information to cover, so be prepared to learn some things that just might surprise you. In fact, I know it's gonna surprise you. So here we go. When you buy an RV, you are stepping onto a playing field where everyone knows the rules of the game but you. There's a lot of money to be made from consumers that don't have the right information. And as long as the information is hard to find or late in coming, well, that's a pretty good profit opportunity, just not for you. There are many factors that have contributed to why the sales environment is the way that it is, and it's powerful to know what those are because it directly impacts the process that you're gonna go through. In this video, I'm gonna show you why it's so easy for consumers to lose at the RV buying game and what to watch out for. Prepare to be amazed. The first thing to know about is something that we call the curb law. In the RV industry, there is very little RV specific consumer protection. In most states, and it could be all, I just haven't researched every one of them, you own the RV the second it crosses the curb into the street. There is no lemon law, no refunds, no renegotiation, no trades in most cases, and no going back. In fact, I worked at a large national dealership and I've heard salespeople joke with the customer, now, when you leave here, you own this RV. If it breaks in half, you own both halves. Of course, that's funny, uh, but it deflects from the reality, and I don't think the customers understood what the salespeople were really saying. There's no suing the dealer, or the manufacturer, or the salesperson, or calling the Better Business Bureau, or calling the Attorney General. That has all been tried and done before. When you drive off, the sale is over, and that's the end of the story. This is why so many RV buyers report how well they were treated through the buying process, only to be treated poorly as soon as they drove off the lot. And this is why the number one rule to saving money is to not buy the wrong RV because it's not coming back, period. The next thing to know is how you're at a disadvantage for the sales model that's been adopted by the industry, basically using a dealership. Let's compare the RV industry to a more mature industry that we're all familiar with, the automobile industry. I'll make a few point by point comparisons. First, we've all bought many cars, maybe three, four, or maybe more. We've helped our children buy cars, or friends, or heard stories of the experiences of others, thus educating us about what to watch out for. We've walked in and out of dealerships, just wandering around, looking at cars. The point is, we're familiar with the buying process and have become educated about it through our culture. How about with RVs? How many RV purchases have you been a part of? How many people call you and tell you all about their experience buying an RV? How often does that come up in a conversation? So point one, most consumers know very little to nothing about the RV buying process and what to expect. Second, how many car commercials do you see in a day? Did you know that according to the statistics firm Statista.com, General Motors spent 3.77 billion dollars in 2016 on advertising. Ford spent 2.3 billion in the same time frame, while Toyota spent nearly 2 billion. With the truck and the auto industry, the manufacturer of the product informs you, educates you, and entices you to drive into a dealership for a hands-on experience and to buy it. Have you ever seen an advertisement for a Thor motor coach? or a Keystone, or for the very popular Thor Chateau Super C 33SW. Do you even know what 33SW means? So the RV manufacturers are not buying your attention and driving you into the dealership. The dealer does all the advertising for themselves, and what you'll hear on the radio or the TV is about the selection and the sale. You'll rarely hear a single vehicle called out and described except for the low price loss leader. And why would they? You don't know a 33SW, you don't know what TPO means, or a Freightliner chassis, or dual 13,500 BTU ACs, because you have nothing to compare it to. 
you've never heard of those terms before and so you don't know how to evaluate it and no one else is advertising and telling you well our dual 15,000 BTUs are better than their dual 13,000 you have nothing to compare now third let's look at pricing Now remember that video that you just watched came from the RV Masters Buyer's Track series. What you need to know about buying an RV, uh, that information is gonna help you pick the right RV and save thousands and thousands when you actually buy it. Check that out at rvmasters.com.